check one. Okay guys, good morning. Uh, Hoop Tops again once here and uh, it's the fourth day of May here in the Philippines and uh, din naman tayo that we'll be having uh, some guests in our uh, what do you call this show for today. Uh, my Yes, uh, yun nga, meron na lang tayong guests na mga kasama. This time, uh, my friends that I met uh, throughout my hoops journey, yun, yun sa mga nakaraang uh, taon. And uh, they are also uh, related to, to basketball. They also hold the mic. They also rev up the crowd. They also do the announcing. So, yun. Uh, I'm gonna chat and uh, talk to my fellow uh, announcers around the world. So one is from uh, Macau. I met him during my ABL stint. His name is Magic Mike. And the other one is from Edmonton, Canada. Also, I met him last December. His name is Binyay. So in a while, makakasama natin sila. I will be chatting with them. How have they been during the lockdown? And how have they been, uh, you know, uh, coping up? And uh, basketball talk also. So let's see. In a short while, we'll be uh, seeing them now. All right, stand by, cause uh, my Ajik Mike is in Macau right now. So same time lang yun sa Pilipinas, and uh, and Binye is in Canada, in Edmonton. So it's around nine o'clock. So yon, talagang uh, best of both worlds tayo ngayon. So. Here we go. There you go. Yo guys, do you do you hear me? Binye. Hey. Yes My sir. Boy. What's up? Guys, okay, like, can you see me? Yeah, yeah, I'm starting your video. Wait up, wait up, yeah. You're you're coming in, you're coming in. Hi guys. <laughs> nice to see you. Nice to see you. Oh. Yeah, nice to see you. We're wearing... wow, long time. Hey Ben, are you are you connecting? Do you hear me? Do you hear us? Yeah, I hear you. Alright. Nice I'm to see you, well. Mike. Nice shirt, uh, nice shirt. Yeah, we'll be we'll be One big five. Yep. <laughs> we'll be we'll be transferring in uh, in uh, in Facebook later on. So let's, we'll just wait for uh Binye to get his audio on. Okay. <laughs> yeah, do you Yeah, I'm um, wait, 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 wait up. Okay. Yeah. 
there's a your 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 audio is still connected, Ben. Yeah, your audio is no. still connected. Yeah, there you go. No. All right. <laughs> yeah. Hello, Ben. Okay, nice guys. To yeah. Nice to meet you, man. <laughs> Before I switch it up, I'm gonna say shout out San Beda. This is yeah. my cousin's town. Man, so you guys. Are... <laughs> <laughs> and also let's start this right may the fourth be with you you guys are wearing <laughs> you guys are wearing your shirts huh yeah All may right. the fourth be with you <laughs> okay i'm just going to zoom in uh full screen so you know uh they can see us more all right yeah there you go we'll throw in uh San Beda. Yeah. Lion Pride. <laughs> San Beda. <laughs> Wait up. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Okay. So. This is so see, cool. See. Yeah. It's nice, nice to, to see you guys once again. Wow. <laughs> Best of both worlds. All right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, related to, to basketball. Also are, are you are, are you guys playing on Facebook? I think we you could you could mute it uh, first. Yeah. I just I was just playing uh Facebook a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so I, we'll just view on Zoom because mm -hmm. it's it's gonna feed back on our on our feed. Oh, okay. Okay. I, I close it. Yeah, yeah. Turn it off. I turn it off. Nice. <laughs> All right. So, wait up. Actually, we're on right now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We're just uh, waiting for <sighs> some. All right. Wait up. Now we. So you guys met first time here? Yeah. 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 Well, I kind of added them earlier. Oh, uh, good, good. Know, yeah. On Instagram. Oh, that's, that was so, nice. Like, yeah. Yeah. I, I creeped them up a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, it's all good. He's, we're all good. This is awesome. I, I hope you guys are staying well and safe over there. Yeah. How's everything in uh how's everything in Macau and how's everything in Laguna? Man, it's you know uh, kinda of still hard. We're still on a we're still on lockdown. Uh but some yeah. parts some parts are doing good now, but uh you know, overall it's still you know still bad. Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. We are getting back to normal. Yeah. yeah, you guys are getting back to normal. We're uh, we're just about to begin next week, May 14. We have just uh, a couple things opening. We have uh, salons opening, um, some uh, massage therapy places, and oh. <laughs> uh, ch chiropractor, and also uh, physical therapy. Yeah, yeah, just that's... those ones. Yeah, soft openings. Um, that's good. That's good. Yeah. It's crazy here though like it feels like nobody's like even affected on this on this uh this coronavirus if you go out here in canada people are just out in the parks just throwing frisbees and playing basketball oh really it's pretty bad yeah it's pretty bad i say but i mean it's nah. it's it's a little bit laid back here oh so wait up we'll just uh yeah just putting it on Zoom on uh, Facebook also. Or... Hey Ben, uh, which city yeah. you are living in in Canada? Oh, in Canada, I'm in uh, I'm in Edmonton, Edmonton, Alberta. So oh, it's Edmonton. like, yeah, it's uh, what do you call this? It's we're next to the the next province over to uh, Vancouver or British Columbia, oh. I should say. Yeah. Where basically the Edmonton is, is like the Texas of Canada. Oh, we, Texas. Yeah. Texas. yeah. So big. Right? Yeah. Well, not big. 
we're uh, we, we 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 do a lot of oil. Oil comes oil. from us, yeah. Oil comes from us. Let's go, Oilers! <laughs> For all the Oilers out there. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, the hockey fans out there, Edmonton Oilers, baby. All right, guys. So uh, <laughs> let's start this. We got around uh, yeah. 30, 30 minutes. So, so uh, yeah, okay. Uh, we're live on Facebook right now. So uh, just want you to guys to introduce, or I'll do a mini introduction about you two, and uh, we'll take it from there. All right. All right. All right. Good. So on top of your screens is my friend from Edmonton, Canada. Uh, <laughs> you can follow him on Instagram at Vignet Vess. Am I right? Yes, that's right. Yeah, yes, he, that's he, correct. He's, he's been doing uh, voice work, you know, uh, MCing, and also uh, recently mm -hmm. met him last December during the uh, MPBL Canada Invasion, and we just took off from there. And uh, guys, let me introduce my friend from Edmonton, Canada, Beignet. Shout hey, out. to the top. How's it going? Yeah. I just want to just say, let's start this with... May the fourth be with you. Yeah, that's right, man. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, down my screen is one guy who I've known for a couple of years now, and he's been also a heavy uh, basketball fan back in Macau and been around the world, NCAA, Chicago. I saw his Michael Jordan uh, statue <laughs> picture, and he's been, uh, you know, emptying and doing voice work also and uh, basketball stuff for, uh, for Macau. Uh, Without further ado, he's, he's also been here in the Philippines. Magic Mike, how are you, bro? Makuhai! Yeah. <laughs> so these are these are my friends whom I've met around my basketball journeys around the world, and uh, wow, it's been it's been it's been great, you know, meeting uh, guys who have the same passion, who do the same work, and you know, uh, share life around uh, basketball also. So, guys, uh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, let's start. So, uh, you know, Benye, how how do you how how did you start? You know, uh, getting involved with uh, voice work or MCing, doing stuff like that. Yeah, can you well, share me, it to our to our viewers? <laughs> yeah, no, for sure. Uh, I didn't really like take up on it in the beginning. I actually started late, actually, and I'm still starting. As a matter of fact, um, what happened was I had a couple job stints. And every person that I've encountered, they kind of just look at me and they say, you know, you have a really nice voice. And so eventually I kind of took, I, I, I took a notice to it. And then I said to them, you know what, let, let, me, let me try something. And then so I kind of started going out there and just putting my name out and just putting my face out. Um, I want to shout out to one of my boys out there, uh, Stefan Villancourt, Devin Edwards and Corey Schwartz. Uh, they are basically the ones that kind of gave me my, 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 foot through the door um they do a basketball uh tournament outdoor tournament uh three on three um back then we used to have a what's called the hoop it up three on three but if, unfortunately every time that they come here the weather just rains oh. so they kind of <laughs> yeah so they kind of canceled that and then so nothing has ever been the same and then eventually what we did what they did actually was they started up a three on three uh outdoor basketball tournament and then I became their hype man. Um, oh yeah. Hence yeah. the yeah, hence the picture on uh, that you used on your poster, and yep. then events. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, and then, uh, and then, yeah, and then. So after that, I just kind of just got my, you know, I started building my networks, and then I got with uh, Flip Hoops. Um, they basically are helping me um, with my uh, with my talents here. They're letting me do uh, announcements for their tournaments and their basketball leagues and you know and hopefully one day I can uh one day I can be sitting next to you uh, oh, yeah. Kuya Top and Kuya Mike uh, <laughs> so hopefully we'll uh you that, know that would be awesome. we'll be working together yeah, yeah that would be great the big three <laughs> <laughs> how about you Magic Mike can, can you share your, your 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 our viewers how you started doing you know your job as an announcer or a hype man also um actually i started by volunteering to one of my friends basketball event like uh i think three or four years ago um there's a youth basketball event so my friend said hey mike would you like to help us and then because he's 
he said my personality fits that job. So yeah, he yeah. asked me to help. So, okay. So I said, okay. Then since then, uh, I think I, I fell in love with it. All so right. Yeah. I just kept going, kept going, kept going. Yeah. Yeah. Until today. And my friend happened to be the manager. No, not the manager. Like, um, how do you say uh, one of the main guy for Macau Black Bears. He said, hey, yeah. Mike, mm. you'd like to come to help us? I said, yeah, sure, why not? I'd love to do it, even for uh, no pay. It's okay. <laughs> still okay. Yeah. <laughs> that's okay. Yeah, yeah. We all have, I guess, that, I guess that's yeah. the, the beginning, hey? The beginning stages. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm still uh, learning from, from you guys, like top, yeah, especially top. Yeah. Yeah, when I have some um, questions, I always uh, go to top. Hey. Oh, thank you, thank you. Yeah, it's, a, yeah. you know, it's yeah. it's all about sharing, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> thank you. Yeah, I'm flashing your your Instagram handle, so you know if some dudes want to check you out, then maybe they can, you yeah. know, uh, <laughs> can uh, <laughs> hook up hook with you up, guys. Uh, you know, some uh, some work over there if ever. Yeah, so yeah. so right now you, you guys are you know um, doing your jobs, and besides from that, mm-hmm. you got also uh, other jobs, right? Yeah, like you, you've been, you you also work in, you have another job in uh, Edmonton. Yeah, um, well, kind of right now uh, for uh, for me and my situation because of the, this COVID nineteen, I'm actually uh, on employment insurance. It's basically. I am uh, not available to work right now, but I am getting money from the government um, because of this pandemic here. So, yeah, but I mean, I'm trying to just keep keep myself sane here. You know, we're just trying to keep fit and exercise. I'm trying to use my time here to get better and just kind of learn a couple things. Because, I mean, if I'm just staying home, it's kind of useless if I stay here and not learn anything. So, <laughs> Yeah, and, and Magic oh, yeah. Mike, I guess uh, I heard you got a new job right now. Can you Ooh, share it? Oh, yeah. Congrats, man! Congrats. Uh, <laughs> um, I'm opening uh, a cafe uh, with my friends. Yeah. All right. Wow. Yeah. So, yeah. what's the, what's think, the cafe called? Uh, we call it uh, Thai Kitchen by Cafe Voyage. Good voyage. Yeah, it's a French. Voyage. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> if in Canada, it's ah. it's like, how do you pronounce it in Canada? <laughs> yeah, voyage. 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 Yeah. Voyage. Yeah. yeah. Voyage. Yeah. Travel. Voyage. That's so, right. That's right. <laughs> it's gonna specialize in Thai food, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's uh. Yeah. Mainly yeah. Thai food. Yeah. Mainly. Wow. So nice. hopefully we could could check it out out if ever I, I get back there again oh, yeah. sometime this year if ever mm-hmm. and so far yeah, guys you're yeah, very yeah. Welcome yeah. Mm-hmm. i'm gonna ask you how, how has it how has this you know your passion with basketball and you know uh doing announcing work uh how was it uh you know uh, affected your lives and how 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 do you appreciate doing your work and uh you know can you share some highlights of how of your work, like you know, the best moments that you've encountered so far uh, doing voice work. Nope. Oh, you, Ma- Magic yeah. Mike, you start now. <laughs> you yeah. go first. Uh, now, huh? Yeah. Uh, like, uh, I would say that my my highlight probably go with Macau Black Bears. Yeah, oh, yeah. I was very very. In the ABL. And... Yeah. Yeah, ABL. I'm very surprised actually. Uh, they invited me to be their announcer. Yeah, um, because that's that's the because Macau Black Bear is our first professional team. Yeah. In Macau. Oh. That's a so big development, I, right? Yeah, big development. So that's I was very true. honored to get invited. Yeah, when they yeah. hey Mike, are you are you are you willing to be our announcer? Wow. It's a huge honor. Yeah, yeah, so that'll be my highlight of my announcing career. Yeah. And mm-hmm. how about you, uh, Ben? Yeah, for me, um, I mean, the only thing I can really take uh, for right now is just basically um, I grew up um, 
basically with basketball in my blood. Um, I'm mm-hmm. Filipino, so <laughs> it, 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 it kind of starts from from my ba- from the baby days. Yeah. But, um, once I started announcing and doing tournaments and growing uh, with a lot of people here, it's kind of nice just seeing their development. Um, yeah, just their development in skills, and you kind of just learn like life lessons. You know, you, sometimes if, insp- if if you can't find inspiration, inspiration finds you. So it's kind of mm. nice. Good it's kind of nice, note. you know. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of nice to just kind of just see that, uh, you know. Even 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 like for me, I'm 36 years old, and I, here I am like learning from a 13 year old on how to do a layup on my with my left hand. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's, yeah. It's, you know, and I mean it, it's pretty cool too. Like with just the announcing, so you know, my 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 highlight really for for it all during my career is just basically. So far, it's just, yeah, just Manny Pacquiao's MBDL uh, Canadian inv- Invasion here. That's by far my biggest uh, gig so far. So that's, that's pretty good. That's good. That's pretty good. Yeah. yeah. But you've been also doing, you know, other events, right? You know, you got your YouTube channel. You got your uh, DJ, yeah. DJ mixing <laughs> stuff. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm trying to learn how to DJ right now. That's why I'm sending you all these mix because yeah. It's, wow. it's, yeah, it's one of those things that, because for me, I... I used to have a lot of musician friends and I also used to, uh, I used to be a hype man in the club as well. So, you know, now you're so doing it, 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 on, it on the court right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can be, I, I can, I can be your announcer and I can be your DJ eventually. <laughs> yeah, that's good. And, uh, speaking of still basketball, let's take a, li- a little segue, you know, everybody's watching this uh, series right now. Maybe you know what I'm talking about. How yes, have you been, yes. uh, you know, uh, how's your reaction to the, you know, so far? Uh, if you haven't gotten the, the leaks yet, but the four parts being shown of The Last Dance so far. How is it? How is yeah. it? How do you find it? Well, been, you um, yeah. Go ahead. Uh, yeah. Ben first, then you follow Mike. Yeah. Yeah. Um, The Last Dance. Wow. Like, wow. <laughs> like, I can't, you know. I'm, I grew up watching the, the whole championship series, the Utah Jazz series. Oh, yeah. I remember, mm-hmm. you know, that's one of my biggest memories watching with my dad. You know, he, he's still here, don't get me wrong. But, I mean, <laughs> growing up, you know, growing up, he was always saying, he always turns around to me and he said, Not today, Ben. John Hornacek and Hornacek. Jeff Stockton are going to beat Carl Malone. And I was like, <laughs> you know what I mean? But yeah, no, uh, I love I love the series. It's it's really great. To, uh, episode five, it's gonna be deep for me because that's that that's when uh that's when Mamba makes an appearance there. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's moving, yeah. But I I love it. I love it. But yeah. What do you think, Mike? Uh, Mike, you how about you? It? Yeah, I love it too. Uh, I also grew up watching Michael Jordan, so it was very very uh, happy to to see. Um, they're willing to to play the, the documentary. Yeah, I really love it. How do you find? Especially the Dennis Brahman episode. <laughs> yeah. Dennis Brahman. Yeah. That was a, that's what I, what yeah. I was supposed to ask. How do you find Dennis Rodman and his 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 ways? You know, his quick vacation yeah. during during the that that run. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, uh, you know, if you were to describe Dennis Rodman, the only way I can describe him is honestly the best kept secret. Because literally, they would not have the three championships without Dennis Rodman. He says it. He says it, and I yeah, agree. Yeah, I totally with agree. It. Totally mm-hmm. agree. Because yeah, who who doesn't mind? I don't care if I if I don't score. Just give me twenty. I I want all the rebounds. You can have the shots. No pressure on me. I just rebound. You know what I mean? What a goat! He's a goat. <laughs> so cool. Seven yeah. straight, right? He listed the rebound in seven straight years, I think. Yeah, double, yeah, he did. Double digits every night out, you know? Double, double, mm-hmm. or double digit rebounds. And how do you, what do you say? How, how, <coughs> what can you say about how Jordan and Jackson, you know, uh, controlled or, you know, uh, uh, jive with uh, Rodman, you know? They they kept him cool, right? Right. Yeah. Um. I really like the way that you know that Phil Jackson uh 
uh, put his input on Dennis Rodman about how they talked about the whole Native American oh, yeah. culture thing and yeah mm-hmm. and how and how they just bonded and I mean you know that 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 that's a coach right there a coach is per that that's a perfect description of a coach uh, someone who just you know who gets the same vibes or who can go to a certain vibe with a with a player just so that you know there's a common understanding and then and out of respect you kind of want to play for that coach just because he's cool he's cool for you you know what i mean and that that was that was sick that i I love how phil jackson just took over as uh you know as these guys like life mentors (laughs) and how about how about jordan you know uh going to uh rodman's hotel room and you know picking him up (laughs) what do you say about that guys (laughs) knocking on your door (laughs) <laughs> I don't know. What would you do, Mike? You're on Mike. this one. I'm not, I don't want to answer this. <laughs> what do you say, Mike? Uh, I don't no idea, dude. <laughs> I would just run. I, I would straight up. I would have straight up ran. Like as soon as that no, door knocked, and he said, "This is Michael Jordan." I'm out of there. I'm jumping out of a window. <laughs> Can you answer the door? I'm not here. <laughs> That's very very crazy. Yeah, that is crazy. You, the, you know what though? Yeah. That that episode, that episode truly showed that Dennis Rodman is a wild man. He's a wild man, oh, untamable yeah. man. <laughs> but I love, I love it though that he's like at, at the end when they're like, "Yo, I picked him up from the airport, let him sleep. He didn't come on time, yeah. but when he came there, he." He ran that full sprint. <laughs> yeah, he, he, he led the whole sprint. Some parts of the sprint, rather. Four laps. <laughs> That's crazy. Oh. The guy, like these guys are all built like machines. <laughs> yeah, you know. Uh, speaking of Dennis Rodman, I, I actually met him once. Oh, in that's Macau. Oh, wow. Yeah, almost 10 years ago. I think 2011. He came wow. here with... Uh, uh, like an exhibition game, like a, mm. yeah. So I think Vanisha Macau and some some company they, they did an event together to invite a lot of legendary players to Macau. So Dennis Rotman was one of them. So there's a press conference. I asked him a question. Wow, mm. that's that's great, Mike. Uh, do you know? I answer the question like, do you know this guy? <laughs> yeah, oh. yeah, yeah. I showed him the picture. Yeah, yeah. I showed him the picture, and he said he didn't know about it. Yeah. No, no. Oh man. The West, the West, the West world doesn't know about slam dunk yet. Yeah, yeah. They don't yeah. know they, yet. <laughs> yeah, they create this character because of Dennis Rodman, like the red hair, yeah, the jersey. Yeah. <laughs> That's one of my, yeah. One of my most memorable memory of Dennis Rodman, yeah. <laughs> That's so cool, bro. I bet. That's so cool. <laughs> I bet Dennis partied hard there in Macau. <laughs> <laughs> Drank all the sojus and all the oh, yeah. <laughs> all the sake. <laughs> and uh, guys, moving on. Uh, from your career standpoint, well, where do you see you guys uh, taking off after this pandemic? You know. Uh, Hopefully we yeah. get to uh, normal to, to our normal routines in uh, in a few months because I'm not really gonna say it's gonna be that that uh, uh, that soon. But you know, uh, seeing this pandemic and how it has uh, affected our lives, you know, and how how the sports world has been, you know, deeply affected with what happened. You know, games canceled here or here and there, and you know, even the Olympics. You know, it's not yeah. gonna push through right now. So. When we get back to our normal normal thing, uh, where do you see you guys taking off from there, uh, Benye? Uh yeah, no. Uh, as soon as the, this pandemic uh, drops, um, I actually have a couple events that I'm going to be doing. Um, uh, what we're going to do is uh, flip hoops. We have uh, our league. We still mm-hmm. have to run. I'm going to be doing that. Um, Blue Quill tournament. That's still going to be going down. Um, and yeah, just a couple more tournaments. I'm also still looking uh, for uh, for the invitation from Kuya Top. Oh uh, yeah, to, hopefully. To come down to the Philippines to do an MBDL game. Uh, uh, yeah, 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 hopefully, hopefully, <laughs> yeah. Hopefully, we can go. We can go back there also, if ever, right? Yeah, yeah man. Uh, no, for yeah. sure. We would love to have you guys here. Yeah. Come back for sure. 
How about you, Mike? Uh, I think uh, it's pretty much over here right now because we, our school we will open. Oh no, our school is open today. Yeah, Actually, yeah. Today, yeah. Mm-hmm. Schools, shops, everything open already. Good. So our cool. life's pretty much getting back to normal, but um, no basketball games still. Yeah. Yeah. But are you still coaching? <laughs> are you still coaching or? Coach- Go cool, what? Sorry. Are you still coaching? You know your your high school team. Yeah. Oh uh, no, no, no. Everything stops. All right. For coaching. Yeah. All right. So, but um, probably we'll start. Hmm. We'll start next week. Yeah. Probably. I'm still waiting for uh, the school to to let me know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, yeah, you know, it's it really took a tough toll on us all. You know. You guys being involved yeah. in basketball and, and the events are uh, revolving around that. You know, ABL was canceled also, one of the first leagues to cancel. And yeah. uh, all the leagues followed suit. You know, even, you know, when, when the NBA, you know, first player who tested positive, you know, yeah. it, really that the effect was, you know, drastic. Mm-hmm. And uh, so far, what have you learned during this, you know, lockdown, this pandemic, you know, after we we you know we were shut off and you know we were experiencing uh things that weren't normal during our during the past years of our lives uh how about you mike you go first uh i think we shouldn't take things for granted yeah well, yeah, yeah 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 because wow life is just uh unpredictable i've never seen these things like this before so um like the for my coaching job, I've been doing this for almost five years. We've never, never experienced things like this before. So, it's, so now we take we see basketball differently. Yeah. 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 So I think once we get back to the court, I think we will treasure the basketball more. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I agree. Right. How about you, Ben? I- I feel that, you know, uh, for me, I'm coming out of this, uh, this pandemic. Uh, basically, what I learned is just uh, take everything day by day. But, mm-hmm. but at the same time, be aware that anything can happen. Uh, the worst case scenario could happen any day. Because, I mean, our whole lives, we, you know, as, as humans, we, we've just stayed, you know, always outside being social butterflies. And then we come to a pandemic of, such great catastrophe that you know even sports in the olympics have been canceled you know um but yeah just also what my main thing is that you know i i, I grew up in a, in a christian home so yeah. for me mm-hmm. um you know this basically shows faith you know this is what faith is all about that even though you can't see it it's still you know a lot of people will still see that you know it that he still heals us and lets us still go and do his uh his his will that he's made for us you know what i mean so it's it's, it's really nice to just as well just take 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 some learning from a religious uh standpoint um during mm-hmm. this pandemic so yeah mm. read your bible yeah, the bible yeah. says it's the best instructions before leaving earth remember that yeah <laughs> Oh, very, very well thought, uh, well spoken words from you guys, from your insights, mm-hmm. and uh, you know, this time you can uh, take time to, you know, uh, give a shout out to those who are watching this show, and you know, plug what whatever you guys have mm-hmm. been up to lately. All right. Before we do anything, I want to ask you, how do you? Uh, sure, what, sure, what no problem. Because I mean, you, yeah. you're, you're you're working the front lines here, man. Yeah, you're, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm going. <laughs> I'm going back to the battlefield in two hours. <laughs> wow! Yeah, yeah, yeah. In yeah. two hours? Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm staying in uh in in the hospital, so you know. Yeah. So how's life been? How's life living in the hospital? Yeah, you know, it's like you're living in. You got your air con- your room with AC, but you know, you 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 still have to fend for yourself. To think of what you're gonna eat for for the breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and you know. You just, you just, for us, 
when we go to our rooms and we just rest and you know uh, do do what I do a little stuff like like this <laughs> like what I am doing yeah. you know to you know uh, make contact with the outside world <laughs> for uh, for yeah. a little time every day and uh, it's been hard you know uh, taking care of patients uh, you know with those beep, you know our equipment you know I think I've lost a couple of pounds maybe yeah. because of you know how hard it is to operate on that uh, those kinds of suits and you know but you know it's still mm -hmm. rewarding to you know uh see that you you're you're, you're helping in in a way that yeah. you could you know uh thankfully that you know uh, i i had a call back to go back here because you know uh if you, you guys have seen me I, i've been devoting my time to basketball so yeah. Uh, yeah at this point i'm just thankful that you know i'm giving back and at the same time, being able to practice my other profession again. So yeah, uh, the fight goes on, and hopefully until we resume and we meet up again on the basketball events. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'd love that. Yeah. A shout out, Mike, to your upcoming. Uh... No, Tom. Tom, I, I got a question. Yeah, yeah, sure. What is the bigger What is the bigger challenge for the job for the, for the nursing job? Mm -hmm. and, and hospital yeah what's oh, yeah. the biggest challenge the biggest challenge for, for maybe for me is you know uh, uh risking our lives you know you don't you don't know how to mm. you don't know how how this will affect you even how 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 at times that you you how how much you protect yourself there's just still mm -hmm. a percentage that you know the virus could hit you so uh just devoting it just being, uh, you know, what what you call this, uh, a full-pledged nurse, just trying to do my best every time I go there, and you know, uh, I just get get strength from my family, from the people that I serve, mm. yeah. And you know, sometimes I, I put an IV on IV line on a patient, and the, I I can't see some so much because. Uh, my sweat is, you know, dripping off my face yeah. shield and my goggles. So, because we don't have, uh, you know, uh, some of the uh, latest equipments here. But you know, we're we're trying our best with what we have, and you know, that's the greatest challenge. You know, if ever yeah. the virus hits us and how we we recover, uh, yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. just putting our putting our lives at stake. But you know, we mm -hmm. we we swore on our oath to once we we became uh, professional nurses. So. This is our mm -hmm. job. We got to do what we got to do. Yeah, no, for sure. Um, how many? Uh, I saw your footage uh, of you putting on your PPE there <laughs> to the top. Yeah, yeah. How many layers do you, you know? And also, I want to ask just because I have Canadian viewers here. Sure, sure. Um, for us, we have like we go up, we dip down to at least minus forty. Our hottest here is like minus thirty two. Yeah, I missed but the I missed the what's... cold weather there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, what's the, the temperature like? Yeah. Yeah, it's <laughs> like 32, 32, 30, 32 degrees Celsius, I think. Oh, man. Dang. And then how many layers of that PPE? Yeah, you, you got us. Uh, yeah. Recently, I'm just wearing a shirt. My uh, my PPE, my outer two outer gowns, and and then the 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 last PPE, you know. Uh, I mean, plus the bunny suit, the bunny suits. <laughs> that's 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 sweaty. <laughs> yeah, oh, no yeah. wonder you can. Uh, no. <laughs> it's like I'm in a in a sauna suit, you know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now we know what those boxers feel the day before training then yeah yeah oh well, you know <laughs> i i miss i i, I miss crazy. uh yeah i miss wear, wearing those sneakers those you know basketball get-ups i miss those <laughs> <laughs> yeah no trust when you get back i'm gonna make or people will make sure that they applaud you because oh, i still right. can't believe i'm talking to a, a superhero yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, and I'm, also I'm, to a magic mic yeah I'm just one of the guys here, you know, and just trying to yeah. do our jobs. And I think we got uh, two minutes left. So, you know, you can give a shout out to your friends, family members, and, you know, those who, or your last messages for this, uh, you know, segment of mine. Go ahead. Sure. Uh, who's going to vote? Who's going to go first? Mike? Paper, rock, <laughs> 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 
Uh, yeah. First of all, thank you so much for having me. Yeah, Malameng mm-hmm. Salama. Uh, I would like to wish all of you uh, uh, healthy uh, and please stay safe during this pandemic. Mm-hmm. Yeah, thanks, Mike. For sure. And uh, as well, I want to thank you guys, uh, or thank you, Kuya Top yeah. and Kuya Mike, for uh, for adding me on Instagram and also for you know for letting me participate in this uh, conversation, Kuya Top. Sure. Uh, no. I just want to just, I just want to just shout out every human out there. Just make sure that you, you know, you take the time and live every day like it was your last. But most of all, shout out Darth Vader. May the fourth be with May you. May the fourth be with you. Yeah. <laughs> all right. I'm just gonna close our segment again. Uh, big thanks to all, right. all the way from Edmonton, Canada, Beignet. Follow yeah. him on Instagram, Beignet Vest. You know, that's, that's right. he's, he's the let mic. Me, he's let the me know mic. how you think of that mixtape. <laughs> yeah, sure. He's the he's the mic guy over there in Edmonton, and of course, all the way uh, from Macau, I am Magic Mike. Thank you for you know for uh, the friendship. Also, you know, every time you you we go there, you know. You, you give us, you tour us around. You take us to the, the the food food corners there. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna, I really miss that. And of course, the outlets. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah. So uh, we're gonna keep in touch, guys. And I hope you have a, a, yes, a, okay. a, a good night. Yeah. Yes, sir. Thank you. Magic it's Mike. PM here. Enjoy the rest of the day. Good luck on your new work. So, again, yes, uh, stay then... stay safe, homies. We'll mm-hmm. catch up you soon. You as well. Yeah. Again. Yes, sir. Stay safe tonight. Have a good shift, Kuya. Thank you. Thank you. Stay salamat. safe, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank there you have it. Vignet from Edmonton, Canada, and Magic Mike from Macau. Yes. Mike Holders. Maraming yeah. salamat. See you. See you. Hoop tops. So there you have it, uh, our episode with uh, two of the my fellow mic holders in uh, other parts of the globe. Uh, Magic Mike, all the way from Macau, and of course Beignet from Canada, and they shared us how it's it's like for them right now during the uh, pandemic and how how have they you know lived their life uh, with how they adjusted uh, towards the the outbreak of this uh, pandemic. And uh, we share the same passion for basketball, for, you know, for uh, doing our jobs with the mic. And that's our episode for today. Again, we'd like to thank our sponsors, uh, Calesa, located at F.O. Santos, uh, Corner Raimundo, for your uh, Bagnet, ba- uh, Bagnet, Pancit Battle Patung, Longganisa Toge, Salted Egg Chicken, and many more. We, we hope to open by the third week of May. And of course, Chubby Habis opening this week uh, Wednesday Thursday Friday you can place your orders so for takeout and delivery via LB delivery and Tongkat Ali coffee for uh, your coffee needs available at the Patong uh, Malaki online market and of course uh, Teresa Sete also open right now for the best CSIG in LB, GSD systems for your health and water sanitation needs, and Tablado hopefully opening soon. iFern, if you want to know if you want to know more about iFern, just check out the iFern Los Banos uh, Facebook page, or you can send me a PM. And uh, our media partners, Kildebird Gaming, YouTube channel of uh, Tito Lem Palakpak, Kaya Man's Garden Kitchen of Tito Kaya for your uh, veggie cooking stuff and Glenford you can check out their Facebook page Glenford Band for uh, cool music brought to you by Tito Glenford 
and of course our uh, Facebook page and YouTube and Instagram accounts of Quarantal Guidance our episode 10 coming up soon and you can visit our past episodes on our YouTube channel and of course my Facebook and YouTube channel Hoop Tops for more stories around hoops and uh, life around hoops so maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat sa pakikinig this has been another edition of uh, Kwentuhang Lockdown at Basketball magandang araw po Happy Monday, May the 4th be with you.